Between Scene, September 2021, Among Us Diamond Dot Stickers. Hi, tweens. Welcome to another Tween Scene Online. Today, you are going to be making uh, Diamond Dot Stickers um, with Among Us characters, crew, mem crew members. So in your kit, you should have an empty sticker form. It has a clear plastic covering on it. Leave that until you're ready to start assembling your uh, sticker. A wand for picking up the dots. A little tray. Some wax uh, for putting the dots on. And some baggies with the dots. As well as a symbol um, code sheet. The symbols correspond to the different beads that are in your bag. So, for example, number seven corresponds with the number seven there, um, and it equals light blue. So, all right. In your kits, you'll see your baggies. You're going to want to pour some of your beads into your tray. You've been given extra beads, so um, you'll have some left over when you're done. You're going to peel off. Um, the best thing is to work a small section at a time. So peel off a little bit of the whack, uh, clear plastic. You'll take the clear plastic off one side of your wax. And you load up the tip of your wand with some wax just by jabbing it into the wax. Just straight up and down and a bunch of it will come up onto the tip there. It's hard to see in the video. But that lets you pick up the bead easily and then put it down on the form. So for example, I'm starting with some of the black, which is the dollar sign symbol. And so I'm, looking, I'm going to put a black bead wherever I see the dollar sign symbol on my sticker. And you just pick up the beads round side up, flat side down, and put them in place wherever you see a spot with the dollar sign. And it goes pretty quickly. You don't need to load up the wax every time... For each bead, you can use uh, one load of wax on your wand for multiple beads. When you start having trouble picking them up, then it's time to reload. So you can see the top of my candy corn guy there. And sometimes you need to shift some of your beads around in order to make them sit in your tray right side up. So I'm going to do a bunch of the black. And you can shift them, like if you don't get it exactly on the spot, you can kind of shift them around a little bit with the tip of your wand. There we go. All right. So I'm going to get a white one to fill in the tip there. Like that. And then the other colors I'll do later as we get to them. I'm going to fill in some more. Kind of jiggle them around a little bit. Fill in some more of the black. But the, the sticker tops are very sticky, so they tend to collect fuzz. And, you know, if you have cats or dogs, they'll collect cat and dog hair. So it's best to leave the clear plastic over most of it while you're working on a small section so that it stays sticky until you put your beads in place. All right, I'm going to add some white, some more black. I 
in your kits, if you had two colors that were very close together in shade, I put them in separate bags. Um, you'll have two sticker sets. So all the black for both stickers are in one baggie. All the white are in one baggie. So you should have enough to make both of your stickers. Um, but the I try to use as little plastic as possible for the bags. So you'll have, some of you will have a couple bags, um, depending on the shades. So that like if you have multiple colors of purple, they're not all jumbled together in one bag. And you can, it'll be easier to, to, to figure out the symbols that way. <clears throat> okay, now adding some white. Have to move a little bit. Just following along with the edge of the section here, filling in the white, which in this uh, kit is kind of a backslash symbol. You can see this goes pretty quickly. Just takes a little patience. If you find yourself short of beads for whatever reason, um, if you drop a bunch and then you can't find them all, let me know. I do have some extra. Um, you just uh, email me and uh, I will set some aside for you to pick up, but each of you should have plenty. Okay, now I'm continuing the black around the edge of the crewmate's face mask. If you enjoy this activity, there are um, larger kits at craft stores and at Amazon that um, you can do. You can recreate Van Gogh's Starry Night or some other fun scenes from famous art pictures. Um, the these diamond dot paintings are become very popular and they're very calming and soothing to do. Okay, now I'm adding some of the blue from the face plate. All right. And the blue on here is that little percent sign. And add some of the lighter blue, that teal color. So 
So the biggest trick is just matching up the symbol on the sticker to the bag and, and finding the right color. Just about all of that in place. Okay. Continuing on with some of the black. This crewmate's going to look like a yummy piece of candy corn when I'm done. Periodically, you should um, put the plastic over, wrap over top again and um, rub down to make sure all the beads are sticking. And then reload your wax there. Let me turn my guy around a little bit. As I said, you don't have to use your wax every time, you know, reload it every time you put a bead down. Uh, one reload should take up, you know, allow you to place in quite a few beads. <clears throat> Just whatever you do, make sure you don't leave that where a younger sibling could eat it. It's, it's wax and won't taste good, even though it looks kind of like candy. Sometimes the hardest part is just getting the beads to sit up straight <laughs> the right way. So I kind of gently tap the tray to get them to um, flip over. Because remember, you want to place them all round side up. Tap them a little bit. I find it easier to do all in one color in a section before switching out colors. But that's just me. Some people like to go line by line. Those couple of beads there.
those two are stuck together. No dropping things. There, just move that to the side. Smooth those beads down. Make sure they're all stuck nice and tight. I think I need more black. For the purposes of this craft, my other colors are in a different bag. So you'll see them later. So I just finish up the black on this crew member. Almost done with this part. You can see from my tray, I had a lot of blue and the teal and uh, white left over, even though I was done with those um, colors. So you'll have extra as well. Almost done with the black here. Back on this plastic a little more. Just a few more. upside down. There we go. All right, rub over the edges. Okay. I've completed my other colors, and now I'm going to add some of the orange. I've got that couple little spots up there. And then I'm going to fill in further down on the body. Need to add some more wax to my wand.
And this is kind of a dark orange color up here. Upside down. In the wrong spot. Shift that over a little bit. Once you're set up, this really goes pretty quickly. Tap some of these to get them right side up. few more. My only suggestions for doing this uh, is just make sure you do it in an area where good lighting so you can see the symbols well. And you keep your stuff away from younger siblings. Because you don't want them eating beads or the wax. All right, done with the orange, dark orange. Okay, I didn't want you to have to watch me finish up, but he's all completed there. I'm going to go over with the plastic and just give it a nice strong rub down to make sure all the beads are stuck in place so they don't come loose when I put it on something. All right. When you're ready to put it on an object, you're going to just gently peel off the back. And you'll see it's sticky and will come off and you'll be ready to go. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye, tweens.